Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Tech News. You got it. Product review. One of the most ambitious portable power stations ever designed is launching today, and it's the first on planet Earth to support dual 120 volt and 240 volt operation in a single unit. This means for the first time ever, you can power both standard household appliances and high voltage appliances like mini splits, a washer and dryer, or electric stove from a single machine. It's also the world's first debut of semi-solid state batteries in a solar generator. But is the Zender Super Base V any good? Let's find out. Okay, first I need to let you know that this is going to be more of a preview video than a typical full-on review because this engineering prototype version I have is not a fully functional unit. I was able to perform a few basic tests and I can chat about some of the upcoming features, but performing a full-blown testing suite on it won't be possible until I get an updated product. This video should at least answer enough of your questions to let you decide if you wish to pre-order one. Now, the unit that Zendor decided to send me was their Superbase V6400, which is the largest of the two models they are offering and has their brand new 6,438 watt hour semi-solid state battery. Yes, 6.4 kilowatt hours in one unit. So what the heck is a semi-solid state battery anyway? I mean, is it is it solid state or not? Well, if you look past all the hype and the mumbo jumbo, it's basically just a more energy dense version of regular lithium ion, but in a solid pouch format, which apparently boasts greater damage resistance than the typical cylindrical cells that you would get with a normal NMC battery. Now, this enables packing more power into a smaller space, and it's also more robust when it comes to cycle life offering 3,000 cycles to 60% capacity. This new technology is what makes the Super Base V have the largest battery ever offered for a portable power station. Although I would kind of question the term portable at over 130 pounds and nearly two and a half feet long. It doesn't look that long because I have it head on towards you, but let me show you a shot from the side. You can see just how long this thing is on a four foot long table. The thing is massive. Now it does have four wheels with casters on the front, which are lockable. So it does allow you to roll it around and then you can lock it into position. It also offers, of course, a handle that pulls out and this folds up and allows you to move it around like a heavy piece of luggage. So it's not impossible to roll around, but I can't pick this thing up, which is why it's on this table and not the table behind me. I had to actually use a scissor lift to get it up here. Zender goes so far to offer powered wheels. Yes, this thing has powered wheels for the ultimate in Kush. So what's next? A padded seat with a steering wheel? I mean, I'd roll with that only if it comes with 20 inch spinner rims. So what if 6.4 kilowatt hours in a single unit isn't enough juice for you? You can get these additional 6.4 kilowatt hour add-on batteries and add up to five of those for a total of 32 kilowatt hours. But wait, there's more. You can also parallel up to two of the Super Base V units together to double the inverter power and add five more batteries to that for a grand total of 64 kilowatt hours of power. Now, for those of you that don't understand what kilowatts are, this is enough power to power the average American home for two full days without even hooking up a single solar panel to this unit. That's a lot of power and a record for any solar generator on the market. Now, what about the build? Now, this is a prototype version not made from the final case material, so I won't get into it, I'm not gonna talk about it. But it does have a color LCD screen that shows input and output watts, time to charge and discharge, state of charge percentage with icon, and a plethora of status icons and error messages. Now what about the inverter size of the Superbase V? This sports a 3800 watt pure sign inverter with a 7600 watt surge, and this, just like the other Zender products, has a feature called amp up, which allows certain appliances to run up to 5,000 watts. Now, this is the world's first portable power station that supports both 120 and 240 volt operation at the same time. There is no switching back and forth 
it's live all the time. So the 120 volt operation is done here on the right hand side and is split up between four 20 amp outlets. And over here on the left side, there is a single NEMA 620 240 volt outlet rated at 16 amps. There's also a single TT30 and otherwise called a 30 amp RV hookup, good for a true 30 amps at 120 volts. Now, what about ways to charge? Now, the Super Base V does come with the standard household plug, and you can charge this up from 120 volts at a maximum of 1800 watts. Now, if you plug this into 240 volts, you can charge up to 3600 watts. Note that when you're actually in 240 volt charging mode, the 120 volt outlets will no longer work. It will take about four hours to charge with 120 volts or only two hours to charge with 240 volts. Now that might not seem that fast to you because a lot of power stations out there will charge in two hours, but it's actually ridiculously fast when you realize this has a 6,400 watt hour battery. So you're charging 6,400 watt hours in two hours. Now what about solar charging? Zendur does offer a nice thick long cable which MC4 on one side and XT90 on the other. And the reason for that is this sports a 3000 watt MPPT solar controller good for 10 to 150 volts up to 25 amps, and that's through that XT90 connector. It only takes three hours under perfect sun conditions, assuming you max out the solar input, to charge it from zero to full. Again, crazy fast. They also offer a kind of ridiculous option here, and that's a charge from 12 volt car using the dinky little cigarette lighter plug going to an XT90 connection. That's gonna take you several days, but that does mean that the Super Base V does support charging from 12 or 24 volt battery, which many of you ask about that all the time and seem to wanna do. What's very interesting is that they sent me a level two EV charger to charge this from 240 volts. So I do have 240 volt plug in here, 50 amp, and this is actually seems to be like a pretty nice it's got a digital display on it and everything, and I have it plugged in. So yeah, you can actually charge the Super Base V with a level two EV charger. Now this one's obviously if you want an EV charge at home, but if you want to take it on the road, you can. It'll actually support 240 volts at 15 amps or 3,600 watts of charging, and it'll take about three hours to charge it from dead to full, or just long enough to piss off every single person in the EV charging lot waiting to charge their car. Now the V does actually support simultaneous charging from both AC and XT90 connection at up to 5150 watts, meaning you can top it up in about 90 minutes if you're dual charging. Now you can actually charge even faster than that if you add on one of their batteries. As for 12 volt outputs, this does offer a 12.6 volt regulated 10 amp cigarette lighter socket, a pair of three amp 5521 barrel plug outputs, a 30 amp Anderson output, which is really cool. It allows you to run DC power out of this into a fuse box if you want to use this in a van or RV build. And since I was unable to do a DC capacity test on this model, I really can't tell you what the idle consumption is, so that's gonna have to wait for a future video. As for USB, this does offer six outputs total, a pair of 100 watt power delivery ports, a pair of 20 watt power delivery ports, and a pair of standard USB-A ports good for charging up your dinosaurs. Now as for other features, the Super Base V does offer a true switching offline UPS feature. Now they're stating it's 13 millisecond switching, but if you use the bottom two outlets, for some reason, those are zero millisecond switching. Now I was not able to test this, but I'll be able to do that in a future video. Now I do offer LED lights. So this does have an LED light show. Now you can actually run the Zender app through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It does have motorized wheels, like I mentioned before, and voice control. Now I didn't get the voice control to work before on the Super Bass Pro, and obviously being the prototype, it's not ready yet for this model. Now Zender's also gonna offer their own home panel to allow you to hook this unit or a pair of units into your home wiring. And as mentioned earlier, you're gonna be able to series connect a pair of these 
for more inverter power. And they did send me a 6.4 kilowatt hour modular add-on battery, which is also semi-solid state. And even with a firmware update, I still wasn't able to get the battery to connect. So again, that's something I'm going to have to cover in a future video. Now, as for the warranty, Zender is offering a three-year warranty on this product, but they're going to plan to extend it to five or 10 years, depending on if they meet their stretch goals or not. And of course, we took the Super Base V into my secret laboratory here. We performed a few crazy experiments on it, including a single fisted battery capacity test. As for the results of the AC battery capacity test, it scored 5490 watt hours out of 6438 for a very impressive 85%. I was frankly shocked getting such a high test result from what is essentially a new battery technology. Because resources were limited, I didn't actually get to do a 12 volt capacity test, making this only a single fisted result. Since the inverter actually was working on this, I was able to do some load tests on the 120 volt system and sine wave checks on both 120 and 240 to prove they are sine wave and are working just fine. However, other testing wasn't really possible at this time. So let's go ahead and check out those results. Pure sine wave check under load. We have a perfect sine wave at 120 volts, 60 hertz. And for the first time ever on Hobotech, we're doing a 240 volt sine wave test. So there you have it, a perfect sine wave at 243 volts, 60 hertz. Inverter capacity test this is where we determine how much power can we pull out of the 3800 watt inverter. And for this test, we're gonna use the 120 volt outlets. And you also know what that means. Dun, dun, dun the solar D generator. At 3000 watts, we still have a good sine wave. Watch the sine wave and the voltage. So it looks like 3300, 34, 3450. We pretty much seem to lose it. So you're probably wondering what the heck's happening here. You see the sine wave get all crazy and the voltage over here gets all crazy. What's happening is Zender has a feature called amp up, which lowers the voltage of the output, basically lowers the voltage of the inverter to allow you to run more amps. Currently the way it is, there's no way to turn it off. So I can't even really test this inverter at its maximum capacity because of this silly amp up feature. It's getting in the way of my testing because it's trying to lower the voltage and my stuff doesn't want the voltage lowered. That's the best I can do for testing this inverter. We can get it up to 3450, then amp up kicks in and everything goes hog wild. Hopefully they'll have a way to disable this feature by the time this product goes to retail sale and you get your hands on one. Now, what about testing 240 volt operation? I could certainly test the 240 volt inverter in this, assuming I actually had a plug that fits, which I don't. And there's no way for me to get one quickly to get this video out in the next couple days. So this is the type of plug I need. It's called a NEMA 620, I believe. And since Zender didn't supply any kind of cables for this, I'm just not going to be able to test it this time. Maybe it's something I can do in a future video. So what are my thoughts about Zender's very ambitious Super Bass V? Well, they're really reaching for the stars and seem to be throwing everything at this except the kitchen sink. So what the final product will be like does pique my curiosity. Will they get all these features working in harmony? I really don't have a fully working unit and it makes it difficult for me to comment further with any real certainty. Oh, I can share some facts with you like it's very large, very heavy. It does have a working simultaneous 120 and 240 volt output. It has a very impressive battery with some impressive available capacity. For the rest, only time can tell. Now, the biggest question I anticipate for this video is going to be, Professor, should I buy one of these now or not? Well, I can't really answer that for you. Zendor seems to be a stable but very ambitious company with some previous success. Many have said on my Facebook group, the Hobotech Crew, 
that they were happy with their Zender Superbase Pro, which was their previous product, and didn't have any problems and were happy would buy Zender again. But it's really for you to decide, do you want to roll the dice on this product or get something else that's already been tried and true and out for a while? Now the introductory price for the Superbase V might sway your decision. So what about that price? The early bird price for the 6.4 kilowatt hour semi-solid state version that you see right here is only $37.99 or 59 cents per watt hour. You compare the price per watt hour against all the other name brands, this is about as low as it gets. That makes it a smoking deal for all this tech and may be worth the risk if you really need that dual voltage power station in this size. Now note, this price is only good for the first 50 units sold. After 50 units, the price is gonna go up. So if you wanna jump in on it at the lowest price possible, you don't wanna wait. Now what about the competition? There is literally no competition for this product anywhere on planet Earth because there's no one else that offers both 120 and 240 volt operation with over six kilowatt hours of power. So who's this product really aimed at? Now this product is clearly focused towards the home backup market because it does offer that 240 volt operation to run large home appliances and things like well pumps. Biggest question I get, can it run my well pump? Absolutely yes, this will run your well pump. It doesn't matter if it's 120 or 240. Because it does roll, it can also be used in RVs for extended boondocking or camping, but most won't need that 240 volt operation on the road. Because of its size and weight, it's not what I'd really call portable, and it's not something you typically are gonna just toss in the trunk of your vehicle for a weekend camping trip. It does offer charging at EV stations for those of you that really wanna toss 130 pounds in your trunk and then sit somewhere for three hours waiting for it to charge. So what can it power? There's no need to ask me in the comments if it can power a certain appliance. This can literally power anything short of a residential electric water heater and it can probably even do that in amp up mode if it's a single coil heater. So yes, it can power, go ahead and say whatever it is, this can do it as long as it doesn't exceed 5,000 watts. And even then, if you need more than 5,000 watts, get a pair of these hook them up in series and you can power up to 10,000 watts and that's gonna cover everything in your house. Now what about recommended solar for the Zender? Now they do offer 400 watt solar panels for this product. If you're looking for a portable solution, that might be the way to go. I think most of you are gonna look for more of a permanent glass panel solution. So I'm recommending the Renogy 320 watt residential panels on my website. You can get them in sets of four, six, eight, or 10. And for this product, I would recommend getting six and running them in what's called series parallel. That would give you 2000 watts of charging. The link for those panels along with the discount code are in the description of this video. Now, if you're interested in a super base V, either this 6,400 watt hour semi-solid state version or the smaller, lithium iron phosphate version. The link to both of those are gonna be in the description of this video. I'm also gonna put a link here at the bottom of the screen along with a QR code that you can scan on any mobile device. It'll take you over to their campaign page where you can check out Zender's latest offerings. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. If your search for a soldier is a pain in the neck, go to YouTube and watch Hobo Tech. Cause he's a test in this and he's a probing that. He's even been probing Odin his cat. If you want to get all the soldiers back, go to Hobo Tech. Yeah! RV Golf Guy, Von Rob, Brian Lieber, John Jason Soroka, Dr. Steve Eisenhower.